Cap, man, I, to be honest, I didn't see um, when he when that happened. I didn't really see it coming. You know what I'm saying? I, he, right. he wasn't a person like that. I felt um, to do something like that. Not saying that he wasn't capable. It's just. He was still young at the time when he came to us. He was still mm -hmm. trying to learn, you know, getting his role as a quarterback and do all of that. Um, he was a great teammate. I felt like my first couple, my first year with him, first year or two, you know, uh, I think I came in might be like 11, mm. you know, and I think he, he he was always to himself. He was, you know, chill. He worked hard. He worked out after practice, before practice. Like he was a guy that was trying to make a name for himself and get mm -hmm. on the football field. Mm -hmm. So with that, he, you know, he stayed out the way. He was just a normal, you know, player. I didn't, I didn't see him, you know, being a having, leader yeah, you know, <laughs> being, being of a like, movement. Whatever the case. Yeah, right. I didn't yeah, see none of, of that. Yeah, I, and I'm looking at it too, the way you're looking at it, because I don't think I kind of foresaw that he would be at the forefront of, uh, you know, being a spokesperson for right, right. humanity's, uh, you know, social injustice and right. things that we've experienced, you know, over the last last year or so, and. Now, I think he's basically created a lot of dialogue, a lot of conversation, uncomfortable uh, mm -hmm. conversations. Because um, I know personally, I've had those conversations that, I mean, that is stem honestly from what he did, what, four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And now we come back full circle. And, and like, honestly, uh, like I said, this is what he did it for. You know what I mean? And, right. and people have mentioned his name with the likes of uh, Muhammad Ali and some of the great ones that have really stood up, right. you know, for the black community. And right. somebody, some people have questioned it. Um, you think about the, the, the entity of Nike that have backed him with his efforts to, to try to <clears throat> minimize or try to eradicate, you know, racism. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that he hasn't, you know, been able to regain his, his which, career in football. But do you crazy. think, you know, his stance is what, you know, prevented him from actually you know, uh, really prolonging his career. My thing was, I, I really didn't understand. I didn't see what he matured into because I left. I mm -hmm. left for my last year was Super Bowl year, 2012, 13, whatever right, that was. Right. So it, it, what happened, what transpired was pretty much after when I was gone. So I didn't get to see what he was going through or, you know, how he felt mentally mm -hmm. right, right, about everything. But as um, far as his teammates or players, like, didn't, you know, how they felt, and you can say obviously Reed was one of the guys that you know, mm -hmm. uh, Eric Reed, yeah, yep. stood, stood, you know, stood with him, and, and I just think some of the other guys were probably just scared or just didn't didn't care, like you know what I mean? They right. just didn't really uh, see or seen the bigger picture or seeing what was going on, and him, uh, and it's just tough because like I said, I, I didn't, I saw him, the young boy, year. yeah, 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 he wasn't that I mean? guy, so, yeah. And I, I feel good about it. I feel like, man, I praise to him. Like, I, I stand with him. You know, I think he's, uh, what he did was, right. was, was powerful. Yep.